So, have you been wondering how to create Pariniti Chopra's makeup from the song Mana Ki Ham Yaar Nahi from the upcoming movie Meri Pyari Bindu? Then please continue watching because in this video I'm showing you exactly how. Hey guys, this is Sneha here at Beauty Lashes 19, helping you put your best face forward. On this channel, I do product reviews, hauls, and celebrity makeup tutorials just like this one. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. Also, at any point in this video, feel free to check out the description box below. I list all the products used in the description box. So let's get started. So I've just freshly washed my face and moisturized it with the Ombre Lee's Lay Cream Concentrate. And on my lips, I have the Elizabeth Arden 8-Hour Cream. Next, I'm going to apply the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir Beauty Oil. I'm going to massage this on my skin. I'm going to let this soak into the skin and I'll be right back. For face primer, I'm going to use the Hourglass Mineral Whale vale Primer. Now with this primer, I've noticed that for women of color, it's best to use a small amount because otherwise it can tend to look a little ashy. Now for foundation, I noticed that Pariniti had a soft matte finish on her skin, but also had this glow from within kind of a look. So that's the reason I'm going to choose to use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I'm using it in the shade 7.5 and I'm also going to use a corrector. So this particular shade is slightly less yellow for me. So I'm going to add in a drop or less than a drop of the Face Atelier Corrector in the shade Blaze. And this will create the right shade for me. I'm taking about so much of the foundation. And then this is how yellow the corrector is. So you want to be careful. Just going to add so much. You can see how the shade has changed from this to this ever so slightly, but it helps when it's applied to the skin. I'm using the Sephora Pro Mini Flawless Airbrush Foundation Brush. So you can see that my skin still has the dewy finish both from the oil and also from the foundation. Now moving on to the eyes. For my under eye concealer, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer in the shade Medium. And to blend this out, I'm going to go in with my damp Beauty Blender sponge and just blend everything away. Once everything is well blended, I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm going to set all this in place. I'm going to fill in my brows with the Anastasia Debra Pomade. And I'm using the shade Dark Brown. And I'll link my tutorial for it in the description box below. Okay, so the brows are all filled in. Let's start with the eye makeup. First, going to prime my eyes with the NYX Waterproof Eye Primer. And then I'm going to set the eye primer with the same Laura Mercier Translucent Powder we used earlier. This will also help in blending out the shadows we're going to use later. Now, the eyeshadow look is really simple for this makeup look. It just involves two or three eyeshadows. You need a warm brown, a deep cooler tone brown, and then a beigey cream toned eyeshadow that's close to your skin tone and then a black eyeshadow for the liner so i'm going to use this particular shade this warm brown and this is from the warm matte palette by viseart and i'm going to use the shade to warm up my crease sorry if i'm looking down here i have my mirror you have to see that i'm doing the right thing You see how easily that gets buffed out? Firstly because the eyeshadows are great by Viseart, but also because we first put in that translucent powder. 
So I'm taking this color from the crease, then buffing it out and blending it out as I'm going towards the brow bone. I'm going to bring it all the way in the crease right here. So just relax your eyes and make sure that you can still see this color when you look straight ahead. I'm next taking this cool tone brown from the dark matte palette by Viseart. I'm going to pack that on the mobile lid. Then go back in with that brush you used for the crease and then buff the edges. And then once it's like this, I go back in with this brush into the deeper shade that we have on the lid just to buff around the edge of the crease and the eyelid. So when you look down, it should be a smooth gradient. Then if you've lost some of the brown on the lid, just go back in and build up the color. And then same with the crease. Color, if you feel like you've lost some of that warmth, you can go back in with that first brown shade we used and intensify the warm brown. Next I'm going in with this shade, which is again from the Warm Matte Palette by Viseart. I'm going to use that as a brow bone highlighter. And just take a clean brush and buff around the edge of this brown shade and what you applied right now. You can also take this light shade on this inner corner for a matte highlight. Next I'm going to take a black coal pencil this is the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Liner in Bedroom Black, I believe. I'm going to use this to tight line both my top and bottom waterline. Next, I'm going to run the same pencil on my top lash line. This doesn't have to be neat, but you have to work fast. I'm going to buff it out. Don't wing it out too much. You want to stay right about there. And then also bring in a small amount on the outer corner of the eye and then buff it out. Connect it with the top line. I'm going to go over this with black eyeshadow. I'm using Makeup Geek's black eyeshadow in the shade Corrupt. So just going over that line to intensify the black color. Now going in with a small brush and then just buffing out the edges. Going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. So I'm not going in with too much mascara because I am going to use false lashes. So once the mascara is dry, I'm going to be using a pair of Esquido lashes. And this is the style Unforgettable. It's quite natural looking lashes. And I'm going to be using the Esquido Companion Eyelash Glue with it has this wand which makes it super easy to apply the glue. So I have lashes on this eye and you can see how natural they are compared to my natural lashes here. So the lashes are on and now I'm going to do spot concealing all over my face and cover up these acne scarring and I'll be right back. And I'll link my tutorials for those in the description box below if you'd like to check it out. And ta-da! Before I set my face I'm going in with a liquid illuminator. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opu. I'm going to apply this to the high points of my cheek. So I'm going to take some on my Cupid's bow. Next I'm going to take the RCMA Shading 4-Part Kit. So basically it has four shades for contouring. I'm going to use the second darkest shade. I'm using the same brush I used for foundation. Go in with my Tan Beauty Blender. 
Just blend out the edges. I'm also going to take a little bit of contour along the sides of my nose since I have a more bulbous tip than Parinita. Pariniti. <laughs> And go in with a smaller brush. I'm also going to take that cream contour along my jawline and also across my forehead. This is just a base. We're going to go over this with powder. Just blend everything and make sure there are no harsh edges. Next I'm going to set the powder highlight with this lightest highlight from the Viseart Highlight and Sculpt palette. I'm going to use some loose powder to set my entire face. I don't want the powder contour to be too stark. Next I'm going to set the cream contour with powder. I'm going to use the second shade from the Viseart Highlight and Sculpt palette. Just take a very small amount. I'm also going to contour my nose with the same shade. Next I'm going to apply blush. I'm going to use the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Crave. So this is what it looks like. Barniti had it quite across the front and the back of her cheek. I usually just apply on the back for my face structure, but since we're trying to replicate her look, I'm going to apply, bring it more forward than normal. So this blush goes in right between your contour and your highlight. And don't worry if your concealer tends to come out, we will fix that after the blush is done. Now I'm going to go back in with my concealer and go in with a smaller brush and just pinpoint conceal wherever the concealer has kind of come off where I apply blush, contour, highlight, those kind of areas. Now for the lips. She had a warm pink lip. So I'm going to first start with this Makeup Forever Aqua Lip Lip Liner in the shade 14C. I'm going to line and also fill in my lips with it. I'm just going to run some of the lip balm I had used, the Elizabeth Arden one on the lips, just because she seemed to have like a moist or creamy lipstick on. And then finally I'm going to set my face with a matte finish setting spray by NYX. So did you guys enjoy this makeup look? And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. So thank you again so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!